So once you're in your BIOS here, you will go ahead and hit F7 to switch to the advanced mode. And then you are going to come over here to the left that says settings, click on that. Then we're gonna go down to advanced. And then we are gonna come down here to where it says wake up event setup. Now you'll see here I have two options enabled um, in your in your motherboard. It will come disabled by default, which is resume by PCI-E device and USB. So you, all you have to do is just go ahead and click on it and select enable. So you can go ahead and do that for both. And once that's done, all you have to do is, is hit F10 on your keyboard and it will save the changes. It just says like I have not made any changes, but once you make the changes on your end, it will tell you the two uh, settings that you've changed. All right, so once that's done, now we're going to go ahead and boot into Windows and we are going to make some changes there as well. So when you are in Windows, let's go ahead and click on the search menu here and type device manager, which is this option right here. And here we are in the device manager. Let me go ahead and maximize that. And if you want to wake up our computer using the mouse and the keyboard or like a network adapter, if you have it as well, here's what we do. So first thing we want to do is come down to keyboards here, expand that. And then we are going to select this option here that says HID keyboard device, right click on it and select properties. Then we're going to go over to the power management uh, tab here and we are going to make sure that this option says allow this device uh, uh, Yes, allow this device to wake up the computer. We want to make sure that this is checked And then we are going to go ahead and click on ok Next we are going to do the same for mice and other pointing devices. Go ahead expand that select HID compliant mouse right click on it select properties again go over to the power management tab make sure you have this option selected allow this device to wake up the computer hit ok and then for the future if you want to go ahead and use or have this option uh, to be done using the network adapter you can go ahead and do the same here so we are going to select the network adapter that it is that is in my computer. So I believe it's these two here. I'm not exactly sure which one it could be. So let's go ahead and do that for both. We are going to go ahead and select properties again. Go on over to power management. And we are going to mainly focus on this option here. That says allow this device to wake the computer. And we're going to select this option says to only allow a magic packet to wake up the computer now let's go ahead and do that for the next adapter that i have here go ahead properties select power management now this thing here called a magic packet i did a whole bunch of research online i think the realistic way for you to do it through the network adapter is to use this third-party program called wake on lan so i think if you want to do it that way Doing the wake on LAN allows you to turn on your computer if it's a com you know, on a completely off state. I think the other two, if I'm not mistaken, using the keyboard and mouse, I've tried it many times. It only allows your keyboard and mouse to wake up your computer when it is in sleep mode. So that's the main thing. If you want to turn on your computer when it is completely off, you're going to have to make sure you have this option here. Uh, to allow the magic packet on your network adapter and you're gonna have to use that third-party tool called wake on LAN. but for me all I want to do is to be able to turn my computer on after it's in a sleep state so now that we have all of those all done let us go ahead and I am now going to switch my camera here and we're gonna put the computer to sleep and then we're gonna turn it on with the mouse <laughs> So now I switch back my camera here. We have one hand here holding the camera. Next hand we are going to use to put the computer to sleep. So let's go ahead and select sleep now. And then we'll just wait. All right. One hand, we got the camera here. 
Next hand, we have the mouse. Let's go ahead and click. And there we go. Now it's back on. So that's how you do Wacom LAN um, uh, to have it configured in the MSI motherboard and within Windows itself. Like I mentioned earlier in the, well, previously, if you want to have your computer turned on from an off state, you have to use that third party tool called Wacom LAN. If you want to, um, if you want to know how to get that all set up, let me know and I can make a follow-up video. I think this video covers majority of the use cases for most people. I've seen a lot of questions people had and uh, hopefully this video helps.